Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my Harry Potter videos, because I know you've all been dying to see how this ends, especially the part with the plants, so we're gonna get into it and see if I can survive the murderous plants. Um, let's do this. Oh, there we are. And um, we're dropped into the game immediately. And let's do this. This is like kind of a maze, but not really. It's just a weirdly shaped corridor. Sad. Would have been cool if it was an actual maze. Like if you had to do more than just blindly hurting plants. But hey. This is kind of fun too. Okay, I didn't actually need that frog, but sometimes I can just walk past them, you know? But in the second game, you really have to do that sometimes. Because in the second game, the chocolate frogs actually try to escape you, so it takes a lot of time to try and get one of those chocolate frogs in the second game. So, in the second game, I usually only take them if I really need them. Ooh, card. But not in this game. In this game, they peacefully hop in place. So, that's nice of them. <laughs> and... Time to go back. I appreciate not falling, thank you. Because I don't want to have to go through all these plants again. Starter. What's around the corner? Oh, it's a peaceful little fountain. Ooh, only one more. And now the water is coming out here. Yay! Nice. Now I am allowed to continue. What's around this corner? Ah! See, that's the end of the challenge. We survived it! Only a few minutes in. Yay! You completed the challenge. You have collected all the challenge stars. 20 points for Gryffindor. Now off you go. Um, I'm not actually sure what happens next. So, let's see where we... Okay. Oh, flying lesson. Oh, okay, that's nice. And after that, Hagrid's place, right? There you are. I hope you did well in your herbology class. I did. I've got something I need I to think talk I did. to you about. Be best to discuss it back at my hut. Meantime, you're gonna be late for your broomstick training. All right. Let's go to my broomstick training. Let's do this. Um, where is the? Isn't it there? The flying lesson. Oh, see, now there's stuff there. I, I I, told you, I was sure there was something here. Now there is. Let me just collect all of these. Go. All of those there. Okay. Um, you know... This is not the flying lesson, this is the Quidditch pitch. So the lesson... I'll, I'll just probably... I'll probably just have to walk this way and then something will happen. Nope. Okay, that's Hagrid's place, so... This, this way, probably. Yes. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Why don't you do it yourself, Ron? <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> Sniveling to you, and you want me to give you his precious remembral. You I will. I'll leave it somewhere for long to I'm getting How ready to fly. <laughs> Is this one laugh with two people? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> I know I can catch you, Malfoy. Okay, this uh, the second thing you do at school. It's just knocking people off brooms. You want Safe school. See if you can catch it. And you better watch out for my bludgers. Another thing, where on earth did Malfoy get bludgers? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And where is he holding them? Like... Ouch. You know, this is easier than Quidditch in the second game. Because then you have actually, ac actually have to... You know... Um, hit... Oh, hit a button to knock him off, when here you just have to fly against him, and then you've already hurt him. Ah. 
Oh, and now I actually have to do something. I'm trying. It won't let me. What is it? There we go. I couldn't find the button. Well, that was easy. You're not even allowed to have a broomstick, Malfoy, in first year, so... There's no way Harry caught that. It was just launched into his crotch. Oh. Here, Neville. I have your thing. remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Come here, Trevor. Come back. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. Mr. Potter. I'm Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I will I you have remarkable talent. <laughs> I will course. reward you for it, even though I don't approve. <laughs> Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Harry, Gryffindor's first Quidditch match of the year is later this afternoon against the formidable hey, Slytherin um, team. Potter. I'll see you then. Um, I want you on the team. Um. I know you haven't practiced yet, but your first match is tonight. Have fun! <laughs> also, excuse me if there's a weird little jump cut right now, because I just had uh, some recording problems, so I had to restart the game and stuff. Uh, but you didn't really miss anything. Uh, I just had to see, like, this cutscene twice, and that's it. Um, Alright. So let's visit Hagrid now. And the reason I wasn't sure if it was recording is because usually I see this little... Um, bar on my screen when it's recording, but I didn't see that bar. I didn't see that bar, but it was recording, so that's nice. But I was just panicking for a little bit. <laughs> but hey, I fixed it, or the game fixed itself, I guess. Um, well, anyway, we didn't miss anything. Let's continue. This, and I want to see something. It's the last time I played this. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I remember there being a um, fire crab in here. I'm like 100% sure there used to be a fire crab here. But um, when I recently played it, it wasn't there, and right now it's also not there. And like, I'm not complaining, but I'm like, I, I'm sure I remember it being there. And I, I can't imagine my memory being wrong about this. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Why would I have such a vivid image of a fire grab on there? My memory usually is pretty good about these things, so uh, it confuses me. But hey, no fire grab means easier to get past this, which is very nice. Because this chest opens in a way that you have to go down to get the insides. Which, like, I'm kind of thinking it's not really worth it. But hey, I like collecting beans. <laughs> Why does Harry always do that? <sighs> Great. There we go. He's having such a hard time. But I'm not used to just walking towards something and Harry just climbing. I'm used to jumping, like actually jumping on the thing myself. So it's kind of weird for me to do it differently. Which is why this game often doesn't really... It doesn't often... It, it often does that. There's another fire... Snail thingy. Sna fire. Oh, not fire. Just a snail. I was about to say snake again. I didn't, though. Okay, and... Okay, I need you now, so let's... Yes. I just need you now. I hate you. I hate you. Are you dead? No, there's another one! Yeah, that's it. Okay. Don't knock me off this thing. I would not have appreciated it if I had been knocked off the, the log.
I don't need it now. I hear you, Froggy. You're there, right? Yeah. I don't need you. Still, okay. Still ate you, but, you know, like, even if you don't need chocolate, it's okay to just eat it, because it's really tasty. And... Tastes good. Yeah, that's the same thing. Uh, <laughs> this chocolate is good. Makes you feel better. Unless you eat too much and you get sick, then it doesn't really make you feel better. But you just... You have to have enough self-restraint to not let that happen. So, I, tr I trust you guys. Just eat a little bit of chocolate, not everything. Though I'm not really one to talk, because I'm really sure that this one is going to be eaten before the day ends today. And I already ate one of those with my friends. But hey, I got it for my birthday, so I'm allowed to eat them. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm still confused about this, because... Ouch. Like... I can see this little way above, like the Bertie bots, but I have no idea how to get there. I mean, somewhere down here, there's like this secret place, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't lead to there, and I just don't know how I get there. I'm gonna try and find it, but I can't promise anything. Did I? I don't think I got there last time. I don't remember this happening last time. And I don't know how I did this. Um. Huh. Interesting. Well, I mean, I'm glad it happened now when I'm recording. And not the first time when I was like, what the hell? Yeah. This seems like it's... Yeah, this is the place. Wow. How can I... How did I not find this last time? I remember trying to get up there, but I just couldn't. And go back. And... And there's another... Secret back there. Bam. The secret is a bit more elaborate. It's like a big cave thing. I do like those cave kind of secrets. It's like a whole journey, and then at the end you get rewarded with the virtue bots. I mean the beans. And see, you can can you can go even further, which is an like secret secret, secret within a secret within a secret. No, the secret within a secret. And then you get up here, and you have this like beautiful little waterfall. And a card that I'm not sure if I'll be able to pick up now. Fuck. That's how you know you fucked the... There we go. Ari, I'm not sure how you're doing that. Um, he's, he's walking on air. That's a song too. It's a really nice song. Just listen to it. Um, yeah, that was interesting. I mean, I know you're a wizard, but I'm not... I, I, I don't remember wizards being able to do that um but i mean i guess you're the chosen one so sure and now we finally survived the way to hagrid's hut i mean imagine if in the books they had to do all this just to get to hagrid's i mean i don't think anyone would ever visit hagrid's Right, right. 
That little walk of his and then turning around reminded me of the meme of WAIT A MINUTE! Who are you? Nice to remind me of that. See, this is weird in the timeline. Because... Just go. No, but this is weird timeline wise because in the books this happens like at the end of the book, but in the games it's like Halloween hasn't even. hasn't even passed. The troll, the troll thing is like at the end of the game or something. So, like, don't pay attention to the timeline. <laughs> Just roll with it. Okay, but time to go into some caves and collect fire seeds. Because that's exactly what first years should be doing. Every time I see those creatures, I'm just avoiding trying to say snail. Because I know I'll either say... I'll say snake. And if I don't say snake, I'll think I'll be saying snail. And then I think snail is the wrong word. And <sighs> English is a hard language. Sometimes. It's also pretty okay. I mean, I've seen harder. French is a hard language. I'm bad at French. This is some ominous music. Like you would really think that Harry would, was about to be sacrificed in these caves. And then stops. Okay. Um, that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. And now. Jump! And jump! Yes. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Or Mrs. Frog. Or just frog person. Oh, well, fuck you, snake. Snail, snail, fuck you, snail. <laughs> And a uh, jump. These are the worst moments when you have to jump across a lot of things and then you can see a book in the distance. I mean, it's nice that you can save right after the jump, but um, it's kind of not nice that if you fall, your game hasn't been saved, so you have to do a whole thing all over again. Yeah, this is one of those secrets. There are a lot of those when you can see the secret, but then you still have to figure out how to get there. But I think I remember, yeah. And then we just have to walk around. There's more than just walking. Fuck you, Mr. Snail. I was about to say snake again, jeez. Bam. And then continue into the caves. I'm going to try and find at least one batch of seeds for the end of this episode. I only have a few minutes left of recording time because my tablet... My tablet's memory is... Oh! My tablet's memory is getting uh, a lot. Uh, it's, it's getting very full, so... Um, I don't really have much recording time on there. Currently, can I walk down here? Yes, I can. Yeah, let's do that. And then go here, and then through the waterfall. I like that little detail. It's fun to walk through a waterfall. Nothing. 
anything no secret nope that way then we're going that way yay the batch of fire seeds we found one now I just hope I can save somewhere before the episode, before my recording time. Ah, don't touch the hot ones. You have to wait until. Yeah. And then. We got. I could really appreciate, like, use the save book right now. Because it's time to end this episode in the middle of some caves. And go there. Ah, there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, today's episode. Um, I did enjoy it. It's a shame I don't have more time left on my tablet to record this. Um, but I think this will make a quite decent episode. I mean, we, su we survived the murderous plants. And then we kicked Malfoy off his broom. And then now we're in a cave searching for hot seeds. Um... Which is kind of disturbing. Um, so yeah, if you liked this, please leave a like down below. You can also subscribe down below to see more of my videos. You can check out my Tumblr down below. And um, then I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.